All right, y'all, 55 gallons of tomato liquid fertilizer been fermenting for two years. As you can see here, it was a bunch of stuff up here. I pushed it down. You see all those bubbles? So this is some of the strongest organic fertilizer you can get. And it's from our organic grown tomato plants. We just took all the debris from it, the roots, the stems, the leaves, stuck it in here, filled it up with water, put a little leaf mold on the top. This is the Jadam uh, method, they say. Um, but I'm grateful for that information, that wisdom, because we're trying to do stuff as practical as possible. But this would be called the tomato um, Jadam liquid fertilizer, you know. And the other one would be the squash liquid fertilizer, and, you know, the, the Jadam method. This is creating your own inputs for your garden from your own garden material. But y'all see these bubbles? You know. Ain't that something? It's strong. It suds up when we actually spray the water in at high pressure. So, yeah, we're going to load up this fertilizer up. We got a bunch of tomato and pepper plants. They're in the same family, egg plants. Um, we have sown a bunch of seeds. We ain't got the plants yet, but high hopes we shall have them soon. But I just want to show that you can create your own fertilizer, natural and organic. This is uh, anaerobic fermentation, I guess you could call it. Therefore, it does stink. You understand what I'm saying? Which any nitrogen fertilizer that I'm aware of that's liquid, it stinks. You know what I'm saying? So that is what it is, you know. And you can use it. I mean, I think you cut this like 30 to 100 times or something like that. That's how strong this is. So you imagine taking one cup of this, you understand that, to 30 cups of water and then using it. And that's the stronger con concentration. You know what I'm saying, which can be applied through your, uh, you can just put it in your water and water your plants. You go spray it on their leaves or whatever the case be. I just personally recommend it. don't go spraying it nowhere near harvest. You know what I'm saying? You want to give it at least X amount of days, you know, for it can be absorbed by the plants and evaporated by the sun and all that good stuff and just wash your greens good. But that's what anything you get. At least this stuff ain't chemical. It's biological fertilizer. So you know what I'm saying? It's, it's giving the plants back what? you got you know what i'm saying or what they gave what they produced and this oh it's tomatoes in here this is full of tomato seeds um you can see some near the surface you might can spot some out if i hold the camera still but yeah man this is where is it natural fertilizer so the only one we need to really make now would be like a high concentrated concentration of phosphorus fertilizer we're making a high concentrated um, calcium fertilizer right now with eggshells that's been soaking for shoot we started it on the first so hey holly we started that on the first didn't we the eggshells egg yeah we soaking the uh roasted eggshells and um toasted roasted toasted eggshells and oh yeah yeah that was it and vinegar on the first so how many weeks that's been about what three yeah. four yeah. weeks four weeks it's been sitting in there four yeah. weeks so we just been letting it sit we ain't been in no rush we ain't got no plans to put it on right now you know, and I got an alternative liquid calcium fertilizer for calcium, so we're grateful. So we're going to use this stuff. This stuff is sitting here doing its job. We ain't got to do no work. It's just in the cut. As you can see, we're in the shade. It's a sunny day. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. We're in the shade, baby. And this is where this is at, you know, doing this job. I think it does better in direct sunlight, this, this container here. Now, this is a pickle barrel type 55-gallon container. It's made for fermentation. You know what I'm saying? So... It's perfect for this, you know. All praise to the Most High God. I'm grateful. I bought these with intent to use them as rain barrels. Never thought I'd be using them to make, shoot, hundreds of pounds of fertilizer. Man, it's amazing. Hundreds of gallons of fertilizer on top of that. You know, so God is good. Y'all be blessed. Yeah.